Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. In this video, I want to talk about the upcoming space station refinery decks slated for Alpha 3.11. As always, huge thank you to all of my patrons and channel members, in particular, Yuha Korkiakoski for becoming my latest patron. Thank you all so much for the support. Also, keep your eyes peeled for today's Prowler Package giveaway code. All the links in how to enter this giveaway are in the description below. So as you're probably aware, we have seen a lot of work on the Space Station cargo deck additions on recent Inside Star Citizens. Well, coming up alongside these cargo decks will be refinery decks as well. We recently heard more into how these refinery decks are going to work once they arrive, so let us take a look at what we can expect. Firstly, what are refinery decks? It says these are dedicated areas in rest stops that serve as mining hubs where players can drop off mined materials to be refined, pick up mining missions or buy new mining equipment. Well, in the latest monthly report, there was a little insight into how these decks will function and what players will be able to do once inside. The system design team have started implementing a new refining station kiosk and these will be what players use to convert their raw materials into refined goods that can be sold for higher prices and in the future used to craft items. We'll come back to that statement later on. So here's what we heard in the latest monthly report. Players will have to take their mixed materials to a station with refining capabilities and then start a refining job. Based on the type of refining process, the materials they want to refine or discard and how busy the refinery is, the player will pay a price and the job will begin. Refining will then run even if the player is not present in the station or logged on and once finished the player will receive a notification and will be able to return to the station to collect their refined goods. Now this is pretty interesting stuff so let's break down the process and delve a little deeper. Let's say that you have a full hold of the prospectors of four saddlebags, assuming the previous saddlebags were picked up by a buddy and are already being refined. You then fly to the refinery deck on a space station, approach the kiosk and choose what you want to refine, what you want to discard, and the kiosk will then let you know how much it will cost you and how long this will take. Now something to point out which I think was mentioned to us quite recently is that it doesn't look as though the mole or the prospector will be able to filter unwanted items like inert materials on the fly. Only once you get to a refinery deck will you be able to sort through what you have mined and decide whether or not to refine or expel those items. Personally, I would much prefer that if you were mining in a prospector, for example, you will be able to sort through your saddlebags on the fly and discard any inert materials or things that you don't want so that you can focus on filling up each saddlebag with exactly what you want to. But it does sound as though this isn't going to be the case anymore. All I can think for, for why CIG doesn't want this is to encourage more skill and learning. So working out how much percentage of a mineral within a rock is there before you start mining it. Also, it's probably got a lot to do with the new refining ship, which was mentioned at CitizenCon last year, giving that ship more gameplay opportunities and bringing players together more. We will talk more about this ship and this process later on. So it also says that once you have started the refining process, the refinery will notify you once it's finished. What is interesting about this, however, is that you don't have to be playing the game in order for the mining process to take place. If you have dropped off a large quantity of minerals to be refined and it says that it's going to take a long time to refine, you can log out of the game, go and do something in real life knowing that when you return, your items might be ready to be picked up. As I said earlier, you'll get notified once it's refined. Obviously, we know this will happen in game, but I wouldn't be surprised if you get maybe pinged on Spectrum or eventually the official Star Citizen app, which was part of the $5 million funding stretch goal. And it says that this will allow you to check your inventory, your missions and news feeds. I mean, don't expect this app anytime soon, but it could be a future idea that you will get notified out of game, letting you know that you can go in and pick up your goods. So let's talk about the time it'll take to refine. As you can expect, right now we have no idea as to how long each mineral type or processing type will take, but I would expect quite a bit of variation based on those factors, as well as obviously how much you want to refine. Also, when it says depending on how busy the refinery is, it'll likely mean that if there is a lot of players or NPCs using that refinery, then that refinery will not be able to just simply refine everyone's goods at the same time. So there'll be a queue and you might 
need to go and find a different refinery. Now, this does kind of mean more travel time, potentially different prices, and even a bit of danger if you're, well, having to travel firstly, but also wanting to refine maybe volatile cargo like Quantanium. But this does create more gameplay, which I think kind of adds to that living, breathing world that if you were just constantly knowing that you can go to this refinery and drop off goods without any sort of dynamics to this, it'll get a bit dull and boring. Uh, what I do wonder is if you have been collecting up saddlebags for a friendly miner, let's say you are a freelancer pilot and in the back of your cargo hold you have 12 full saddlebags. Now, will that freelancer pilot be able to refine those bags or will they have to wait for the prospector pilot to arrive? I would expect that the prospector pilot will need to give you permission to pick up those bags, otherwise it'll just be stealing. But then could they allow you to refine the minerals as well while they continue mining? It does kind of create an interesting gameplay loop, which should be fun to take part in. Something else to consider is this new solo starter refinery ship, which was put to us by CIG during last year's CitizenCon. It was also the most upvoted of the four potential ships, so it'll probably function similar to the refineries in-game, but on a much smaller scale. So let's say, for example, a refinery ship comes along while you're mining. You can have them pick up the saddlebags and set refining them while you continue mining. And as they did mention, it is a solo starter refinery ship, a bit like the prospect of a starter mining ship. So there's a chance that there will be bigger, more multi-crew refinery ships as well. Now, I think what CIG are trying to do here is instead of relying on one ship to do the full process, which I still think the Orion might be able to, uh, just to encourage players to work together using a couple or multiple ships. Similar to how the Starfarer is now unable to refine quantum fuel, it must rely on a mining ship to gather it first. Encouraging this emergent gameplay, which I'm okay with. Obviously, if you're a solo player, you could just take the goods to a refinery yourself and get them refined, but it would be less profitable and a lot more time consuming. But getting together and working together is what this game is trying to encourage. So I think that's probably why we are seeing refinery stations rather than ships being capable of doing so. Now, one thing I wanted to touch on before I finish the video is item crafting. It was mentioned in the monthly report that refinery decks are used by players to convert their raw materials into refined goods that can be sold for higher prices and in the future used to craft items. Now, we were told a long time ago that we wouldn't be able to craft items from scratch, only fixing up or repairing things. I do wonder if CIG have now found a way and have some plans for actual item crafting. Obviously, what items does this mean? Is it going to be from scratch? It sounds as though there will be an option at these refinery decks to select an item that you want to craft and provided you have the raw materials to do so, you can pay the price and set the refinery on creating it. Now, I have no idea what, why, or how any of this is going to work, so I won't talk any further until we have something more concrete, but I would love to hear what your thoughts are on this and what you think we will be able to do. Anyway, I thought it was pretty interesting how these refinery decks will function once we get them, hopefully around October, around this this year. I really look forward to taking my mind goods to these locations and also being able to take on mining specific missions which is something that i have wanted for a long while now maybe someone requesting x amount of aluminium or corundum they will also act as a one-stop shop for all mining equipment from potentially mining guild outfits armor clothing mining multi-tools mining laser heads and sub items even potentially renting and purchasing mining ships but as i say i'm quite excited to see these get in the game do let me know what you think about these refinery decks. And if you do enjoy my videos, do me a big favor and hit that subscribe button. Also tick that notification bell. That way you'll be notified exactly when my videos go live. Hit the like button if you do enjoy this kind of content as that really helps my channel out as well. And if you want to talk more about this kind of stuff, come follow me over on twitch.tv forward slash Ryan and hang out with us live. Thank you to my patrons and channel members again. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.